So we are back with another episode of the best Nova Launcher setups. Last month's episode was met with lots of positivity. So we're marching on and you know what? Let's just get to the intro. Okay, so we have three really impressive setups sent in today, all of which have been created using Nova Launcher. And today's setups do feature a fair amount of widget customization. So if that's something that you're not super familiar with, then I'll link to a video that I created a little while ago that explains the entire process of setting up custom home screen setups, which does walk through the process of customizing widgets. That'll be linked up in the cards and down in the description below. But before we look at the setups in more detail, I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, Wondershare PDF Element. So PDF Element is an all-in-one PDF editor that gives you a whole range of really powerful features that enable you to edit, review, protect, compare, sign, and convert PDFs really easily. One of the standout features is what's called OCR. This is where you take a scanned document, for example, which is something that you normally can't edit. And then the software will perform a text recognition process, which allows you to then edit that once uneditable document. Not only that, but you can also annotate documents to your heart's content, sign them with digital signatures, convert your documents to a range of file formats, and you can even take advantage of its form and data extraction feature. And this is a feature that allows you to set up forms that will gather and collect data from whoever is filling them out. PDF Element is available on both Windows and Mac devices, as well as on iOS and Android phones. And because they're sponsoring today's video, the team at Wondershare are actually offering anyone who uses my link in the description below, 50% off the premium version. So take your PDF editing to the next level and check out PDF Element today. Alrighty, let's get on to the setups. So first setup sent in today is by a contributor named Hattie. It is a one page setup created using Nova Launcher. And if you're a fan of neon blue and a really unique looking home screen, well, I think this one might just be for you. So to start, that wallpaper has been sent through directly. So I'll have that linked down below. And it's kind of ominous looking, I'll admit. And I'm not sure if it's from some sort of TV show or if it's a reference to a book or if it's just a random creative artwork that someone has made. But if you recognize where this graphic comes from or what it's related to, please let us all know down in the comments below. But from there, we have two widgets on this home screen and starting with the one on the bottom for a change. This is a dock style widget with icons to pretty popular apps and it's been taken from the Fusion for KWGT pack. This one is widget 65 to be precise, but keep in mind the global colors of this widget have been modified to match the color palette as seen here. There was also originally a home icon included in this widget and that's also been deleted. Now you also need to set up each of the icons here so that they launch into applications that are actually installed on your phone. But then above that widget is essentially what is a full page widget that incorporates both a fancy day element up the top here and also a date and weather component down the bottom. So this widget has been taken from the Square KWGT pack, it's widget 16. But as with the previous widget, this one has also been edited so that the colors match the rest of the setup. And some components have been deleted and repositioned as well. Now, the developer who created both the Fusion and Square KWGT packs is actually the same developer. So I reached out, I asked if I could give away some promo codes to these apps, and he was super generous and gave me 10 for both. So I'll be releasing these over on Twitter in the coming week. So make sure that you follow me over there to have a chance at claiming one of those codes. Now, I also manually set up this day element up the top here to launch into the calendar app upon tapping it, as well as this bottom weather component to launch into the frog weather shortcut application. So that adds in some extra functionality, which I find to be a helpful addition. Now that's all that Hattie mentioned in his submission email, but I also took the liberty to customize the color of the app draw background. And I also utilized icons from the Linex icon pack for the app draw, which I felt kind of suited the vibe of the rest of the home screen. But aside from that, that is it for this really unique looking home screen setup. Right, setup number two today is a two page setup sent in by Sumit. This one has also been created using Nova Launcher and it's a really visually pleasing setup. So let's take a look at what's involved. 
If we start with that wallpaper, it's actually been sourced via a Telegram group, but I've also got it linked directly down below. And this is one of those really great wallpapers for OLED devices because that large chunk of black down the bottom helps to save on battery life. Now that said, I also really like the strong color contrast with that reddish slash pink hue up the top. And that sun and tree silhouette vector in the middle there looks really, really nice. Up the top on our first main homepage is a day and date widget. This one comes from the mini-ism for KWGT widget pack and it's widget 008. Below that is a status bar looking widget of sorts. I quite like the look of this one and so I decided to hide the native status bar at the top so we weren't doubling up on the information being presented. But the widget itself comes from the Radish KWGT pack and it's widget 33. And like the previous, it's exactly how it looks straight out of the box. And below that, we have a set of 10 app icons laid out in a five by two configuration. These really neat looking icons have all come from the Reeve Pro icon pack, which looks really nice. And there is actually a light edition of this pack that you can pick up for free, but I did ask the developers if they were interested in providing me with some promo codes for the pro version. And again, they were kind enough to agree. So I'll be giving 10 of these away over on my Instagram page this time. But then swiping over to our second homepage and aside from that funky transition animation, here we have two additional widgets, a date and weather widget at the top, which comes from the sheer KWGT pack and it's widget 049. And I've got that little weather icon set up so that tapping on it launches into the frog weather shortcut application. And below that is another day and date widget, although this one incorporates the time as well, but it comes from a widget pack not yet available on the Play Store. It's only available at this stage through a Telegram group, which I will have linked below, but it's called the Stylish Widgets Pack, and this one is widget 23. And whilst I will say it does seem a little unnecessary to have four separate widgets across the two pages that incorporate the date in one way or another, I do like the look of each of the widgets, and I particularly like how tapping on the day text here swaps the theme of the rest of the widget. Pretty neat touch. Now there's nothing to write home about in regards to the app drawer. So that's it for Sumit's two page setup, really neat looking and a worthy contribution. And so the last setup for today is a two page setup sent in by Rishi. This one has also been created using Nova Launcher. It's a great OLED friendly setup as well. And there is lots of tweaking and customization involved, particularly with the widgets. So let's dive in and take a look. We'll start with the wallpaper situation. And so on this first page is a beautiful tree and river landscape vector wallpaper. Rishi couldn't remember where this one originated from. So if you recognize it, let us know down in the comments below, but we do have a direct link to it, which has been included down in the description. But if we swipe over to page number two, you'll see that like one of the setups in last month's episode, this second page is also using a full screen KWGT widget of just pure black. And this is how you can essentially fake having two wallpapers within the one setup. But back to our main home screen and up the top here is a day, date and time widget. And this is taken from the vanilla KWGT pack, it's widget 56. And then down below that vector there, we have a music player widget. This is actually a self-made widget by Rishi. And what's really neat is that tapping on the little speaker icon there opens up the system volume controls. Now beneath that widget is a set of six application icons, each of which are using the flight light icon pack. And then over to our second page, and here we have two separate widgets. The first one is this weather widget, which comes from the Instinct KWGT widget pack. It's widget 44, and I've got this one set up to launch into, yep, you guessed it, the Frog Weather Shortcut application. Below that is a really neat looking calendar widget. This one is widget 62 from the Luke Pixel layout for KWGT widget pack. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that one correctly, but you can even interact with this widget, which is pretty cool. I always like a widget that has some form of interaction. So nice little touch there. But then swapping up and into our app drawer, nothing too special going on here. Icons are from the Pixel Icons pack, which looks okay for this setup, although it could be worth investing in the pro version of the Flight Icon pack or using the Reef Pro Icon pack as featured in setup two and using either of those here instead. Aside from that, that's it for Rishi's two page Nova Launcher setup. It's probably not quite a setup for beginners, but it's got lots of cool elements throughout. And if you've got a bit of customization experience, well, it could be fun to try and replicate this one. But that is it. Now, as always, links to each and every asset required to load these setups onto your own devices have been included down below. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram 
and Twitter to have a chance at claiming one of the many promo codes on offer for the apps featured in today's episode. If you have your own unique home screen setup that you'd like to submit, then make sure you check out the submission video. I have it linked up in the cards and down in the description below as well. But aside from that, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.